Catching up on old times has been great, but we should really get going. Besides, shouldn't we save some of this for our speech later? But we just got through all the boring backstory stuff. It really starts to pick up from here. I'm down for more. Hey, guys. It's so good to see you. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. This is really happening. It's not official yet. We have to actually make it to the building. They're not going to start without you. And even if they did, some of the speeches are so long, you'd still have plenty of time. Great. We were just telling Pac all about how we got started. Did we cross paths on an indie show early on in your career? We did, at a minor league baseball stadium in Memphis, to be exact. That's right. I knew you had it back then. Trey, not so much. Why does everyone keep saying that? Because you didn't know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch? Speaking of wrist watches, we really should get going. From my experience, this day goes by pretty fast. So you really want to relax and soak in every moment. Lead is right. When I got inducted with DX, everything just flew by. Then let's get back to soaking. Lita, if my memory is correct, you were just in Memphis for an autograph signing, but Red had other plans. So I just want to thank everyone in Memphis for coming out to the show. It's always great to be a part of these smaller events and connect with the people who have supported me for so many years. I'll be available for pictures and autographs starting in a few minutes. Don't be shy. Hold on a second, can we cut the music? In the spirit of not being shy, I have something I want to say. Growing up, I was a huge fan of yours. Facing you in the ring is actually on this list I have. So I know you don't wrestle that much anymore, but I'll always regret this moment if I didn't ask. How about you skip the autograph session and go one on one with me right now? I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but who are you? I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but none of these people would be here paying you 10 bucks an autograph if it wasn't for me working my butt off this past year in Memphis. Look, I get it. You're young and hungry and you probably think I'm the entitled Hall of Famer who just shows up to cash in on all your hard work. But it's not like that. I'm here to support you and the indie scene. I mean, I used to be you. And by the way, I still didn't get your name. You'll hear the ring announcer say it after I beat you. So you're not backing down, huh? Like I said, you're on my list. I'm sorry, everyone. But I'm gonna have to delay this autograph signing until after I win this match.
Grant's got quite the temper on her. Actually reminds me of Slider's manager, Tex Phillips. <laughs> Did you know Tex once threw a bat at a fan who was razzing him? That was the last time his dad was ever allowed in a game. True story. And just a reminder, the Sliders are on the road. We'll be back for a six-game homestand next week. So come on out and support the home team or the away team. Just get your butt here and spend some money, okay? I have two 27-year-old man children to feed, and this franchise is dying quicker than the house fly. Points. Unlike the new slider stew the stadium's serving up, word of advice, unless you want your next bathroom trip to end in a rundown, I suggest you avoid it. match red I definitely knew Red's name after that night. I was impressed Red was able to keep her composure and talk you into the match. Usually in those situations she would lose her temper and go into hothead mode. You're one to talk about keeping your composure after what you did that night. Before my match, I have something very important I need to do. I've seen Ribby out here dancing with the kids all night, but I think I've got some pretty sweet moves myself, so how about Ribby and I find out who's better with the dance off. I'll go first. Hit me with some music. OK, 
Okay, Ribby, top that. Okay, wait, I was holding back. Let me get another turn. When the dance-off is on this list, I have. I'm not crying. This was fixed. I demand a fair rematch. Hey, no one wants to see any more of your terrible dance moves. What they want to see is me kicking your ass. I mean, what kind of stupid name is Trey anyway? I think a better name would be Crossword because you enter the ring vertically and you leave horizontally. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, your parents must be the type of people who when you look into their eyes, you see the back of their heads. <laughs> you can say whatever you want about me, but don't talk about my parents. <laughs> What's the matter? You should be proud of them. Because I heard they created more tragedies than Shakespeare. <laughs> Did you come out here to dust off every one of your dated one-liners? Or do you want to have a match? Look, I'm just trying to entertain these people after your awful dancing. I mean, I've seen better moves in a blind chess match. <laughs> if you want to entertain them so bad, then how about we give them a match they weren't expecting? Well, if you keep boring everyone, pretty soon we're going to have an empty arena match. <laughs> I was thinking something more along the lines of no DQ. You know what? I'll take that and I'll do you one better. I know you've only been in Memphis for about a year, but I think everyone will agree that's a year too long. So how about we make this a no DQ, loser leave town match? Come on, Crossword. What do you say? It's fitting your last match in Memphis is going to be in a baseball stadium because you just made the biggest error of your life. Oh, come on. That was just as good, if not better, than one of his lame jokes. Oh, shut up, Ribby. After I send Lawler packing, I'm going to eat you for dinner. All right. Let's do this, crossword. 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 Trey 
thought he was going to beat Ribby in a dance-off. That John piece of meat has got some sweet and saucy moves.
fun tonight, folks, but that's all I got. Look, I'm glad you won. I mean, you beat a legend, a WWE Hall of Famer, and that's huge. But you were out there playing with our careers just because you were too worried about a stupid dance-off. Which allowed Lawler to get in your head. I'm sorry I let King bait me into that match. Just, he was saying stuff about my parents and I lost my cool. You should get that. Believe me, I do. But that's what Lawler does. He's made an entire career out of it. He had no idea you're adopted. Good thing. I'm sure he would have had a field day with that. Let's just move on from this. Apology accepted, okay? What would have happened if I lost? Would you have stayed here in Memphis without me? No. We're a package deal. Wherever you go, I go. But I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm having too much fun here. I mean, I just beat Lita. <laughs> I know, tonight was crazy. Do we have beat two Hall of Famers in one night on our list? If not, we should add it. Hey, good match, kid. I didn't know what to expect after you lost to a giant rib in a dance-off, but you really brought it when it mattered. Thanks. Sorry you have to leave Memphis now. I know you're a legend here, so that's got to be tough. Are you kidding? I'm not going anywhere. Do you know how many loser-leave-town matches I've lost in Memphis over the years? Well, not that many, actually. But still, that wasn't official. We never signed anything, did we? Uh, no, I, I guess not. Well, then there's your answer. Hey, you two have dinner plans? No, why? Well, you should stop by my restaurant. We have really good ribs. 